So what I want to do, or what you be looking for, looking to do, is with this marker here. At the moment, it's more closer to this mark here. So what I need to do is move this backwards enough so that the chain isn't as slack. It's like it should only have about maybe an inch and a half of slackness of uh, movement. So I'm going to move it from here to wherever I may need to move it to using this adjuster. So I'll be turning this from bottom to top to move this backwards. Same goes for the other side. Right, so the same as the other side. The markers really should line up on either side. So where this one, this marker should be close to this line there. I've got to move it uh, basically towards towards this way basically and that's the same as the other side using this adjustment but this time I'll have to have, the, have it going from up top moving it downwards and then to do that I've got to undo this nut first this bolt will move no way I can get it to move right so using this I turn this around so that it's loose enough don't need to take it right off be loose enough yep okay so I'm not taking it right off making sure that it's you know still on but not off loose enough and then I'm going to be using another spanner to tighten this and this one up to bring the wheel towards towards us. Next I'm going to be using this 12mm spanner to undo this one and the other one on the other side. So that one also. But I'm going to go from the from bottom upwards half a turn each time same goes for this one but go from the top turning it downwards half a turn each time until the chain doesn't look so slack and just before once you have undone the nut over there so once you've undone this nut, just take a 17mm spanner and just give this a bit of, uh, of a move so that it makes it more easier for this to, to manoeuvre. Right, so now with the 12mm, could do it half a turn. So go from there, go up half a turn and this one we do it again but we go from top to bottom so that'll be half a turn now I don't I don't think the chain is gonna have moved that much so we're gonna do it again 
making it one full turn. So that's another half turn, which makes it a full turn. Makes that a full turn. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, I've still got a fair, fair bit to do. So, and that has only moved half. So we're going to see of how much more. So it's on from this point. It's on one sort of two and a bit, sort of right in the middle. Should be like that on the other side. Yeah, as for this side, it's pretty much the same for that side. So we're gonna have to carry on bringing it backwards. Right, I've given this one three turns and same for this one the chain is now looking better than what it was I prefer having that amount of sort of tension and slack I suppose Right, so it's gone just past the second marker. So it's in between the two markers. So I think eventually I will need to get myself another chain. But it's like this, right in between those two markers. Right in between them. There we go. Same goes for this one. You can see. There you go, that marker is right between that one and that marker. So they're both exactly the same on both sides, which means that it's straight as it should be. So doing both sides the same amount of turns you've now got it even on both sides. So the tension of the chain is fine. The markers on each of these are the same. So the next thing to do, really, is to do that nut up. Try and do it arm tight. Yep. Don't think I can get it anymore. Nope. Last thing you want to do is round the nut. So yeah, um, guys and girls, uh, just a, trying to make it just a, uh, a little video, just a little bit of chain maintenance really, just so she, you can obviously adjust the chain yourself it's not that difficult but some people aren't uh, confident enough or knowing how to actually do it themselves which you don't need a professional mechanic to do it 
I'm not a professional mechanic. I just do it myself. So hopefully this has helped you out. Um, I'm, I've, hopefully I've tried to show you as much as possible. Um, it's not a lot, not a lot to actually do on it. Just to, something to check out and keep an eye on really over time. If you're riding your bike a lot, then obviously you need to keep a keep a close eye. But if you're only riding it every now and then, then you don't have to worry so much. But if you ride it quite a lot, practically every day, then you need to have a close eye on it. So, if you did find it interesting and helpful, then please um, subscribe to my little channel. Um, I'm still trying to make more videos up on how to do things. And um, just try my best to show, show those who know show those who don't know how to do these sort of things for those of you who know then if you had a bit of a laugh then fair enough but otherwise for those of you who don't know and who are just beginning then hopefully this will this is helpful and it help and it helps you out so um So hopefully this has helped you out. For those who um, aren't sure and just need a bit of a bit of a confidence boost. Uh, that was it. Uh, please, please, uh, please subscribe and um, you know do the little notifications bell so that uh, you know when I've done another video. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop rabbiting on now and. Um, Happy! I'll see, I'll see you next time for the for the next for the next bit.